EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, NCAA football fans? Andrew Johnson here again from the EA Sports Live team. And today, I'm here to talk about defensive line play. Without question, one of the best ways to slow down or flat out shut down an offense is to get pressure on the quarterback, especially when you don't have to sacrifice too much in coverage. Yeah, that's right. An eight-man blitz does not work every time, okay? So first off, let's go ahead and get into practice mode so I can break down the controls for you. Now I'm going to select a nickel cover three defense, so I still have all my secondary in coverage. This is just for an example. I want to get pressure here without having to blitz anyone for my secondary. Once I'm set up, I have a list of options with my defensive line. All the defensive line audibles are mapped to the left bumper on Xbox, which I'm using. But if you have a PS3, it's going to be the L2 button to bring up your options. Once you've brought up your line control menu, you have a number of options on the left and right stick. Controls mapped to the left stick are line shifts. If you think your opponent might be running the ball up the gut, tap the left stick down to bring your line in like so. Meanwhile, if you want to get some more pressure on the outside, you can tap the left stick up to spread the line out like this. Also, if you think he's running the ball to either side, you can shift your line over by tapping the left stick left or right respectively. Obviously, with every adjustment, there is a certain amount of risk, so be careful. For example, if, say, you spread your line, his quarterback will have more room up the middle. Luckily, you have some more options on the right stick, which can help you disguise what you're doing. Say you think he might be running to the right. You can match his move by tapping right on the right stick, and your line will shift its rush to that side. This is cool because it happens without giving up anything visually to the other team. You can also tell your line to rush wide by tapping up on the right stick, this is useful in containing the outside rush or just getting some outside pressure with your defensive ends. You can also tap down on the right stick to flood the inside attack like so. But that's not it. All the left and right stick moves can also be combined to further disguise what you're doing from your opponent. Now, you have to pull these off pretty quickly in a real game because your opponent can get up to the line fast and snap the ball. But once you get used to the controls and what they do, it'll be like second nature to you. As usual, practice does make perfect. Finally, if you want to get that last edge on defense, I suggest learning to jump the snap. Jumping the snap is easy in theory, but does require some timing to pull off correctly. All you do is tap down on the right stick exactly as your opponent is snapping the ball. If you do it too early, you can get called for the offsides or encroachment and an easy five yards for the other team. However, if you can pull it off, you have a quick path to what could be a drive-killing sack. Once again, this is very risk-reward, so don't get too trigger-happy with it, guys. I hope this helped. If you have any other tips and tricks suggestions, make sure to leave us a comment below. Till next time, I'll see you guys on the gridiron.